Good morning, everybody. Hope you're having a wonderful Thanksgiving. A turkey day. Oh, my leg is... Sorry. It's a little windy out here right now. I was gonna jump out of my vehicle and, you know, show you around a little bit. But the wind is gonna be so bad that you wouldn't be able to hear my recording. It'd just be a lot of whistling, so I figured I was gonna just kind of stand outside my vehicle and keep my camera inside. <coughs> Thanksgiving is uh, an American holiday, but it should be universal. You know, getting with family, eating, enjoying each other's company. Although that can be a toxic mess if, you ha if your family's kind of messed up, but yay. Um, what else? And if you're a vegan, it's turkey slaughter day, which is terrible. Sorry. Most people eat turkey, but. Uh, today it's going to be a quick video because of the wind. But I'll, and I look like I'm starting to look like Obi Wan Kenobi, and that's kind of interesting. Whatever, I think it's cool. And I heard there's he's he's gonna, they're going to do an uh, individual movie just about Obi Wan Kenobi after the Clone Wars, which is kind of cool. So, and Ewan McGregor, hey, he's Scottish. I love him. Love him, babe. He's a good guy. Anyway, <clears throat> today is just going to be a quick uh, video about manifestation. And I want to bring up a couple things that are, I don't believe in coincidence for one thing. And you're going to laugh when you hear about this. But um, Paul, the gentleman that kind of runs the campground here, came up to me. We were talking. And I told him about the bears up in Montana and the stories I was hearing. And and he's all, yeah, well, there's not a lot of wildlife around here. Usually coyotes, you can hear them howling. But it's been a couple weeks since I heard anything. And I'm like, yeah, you know, I haven't heard them either. So that night, ow, you can hear coyotes. So it's like manifesting, thinking about it, and it shows up, right? Another one was, I was talking about going to Muscle Shoals, which is in Alabama. And yesterday when I was, the other day when I was selling my art, and I just happened to look over and see an Alabama plate. And then once I, after I sold my art, I went down the hill to get some food, and I saw another Alabama plate just out of the blue. And I've never seen, I've never seen an Alabama license plate before. I just saw two within an hour. So I thought that was kind of interesting. And the, the final one that really just kind of blew my mind, as far as manifestation, uh, before I went out and started selling that morning, I just, out, out of the blue, I just said, I know it was you, Fredo. And I said it out loud, just like a joke, right? I'm like, okay, that was kind of interesting. Because I love Godfather movies. Anyway, <clears throat> a little violent, but yeah, extreme. But yeah, yeah, very classic. Classic movie, cinema. Um... And here's the funny part, okay? Remember what I just said? I said, I know it was you, Fredo. And I said it out loud. So I'm down there at the thing, you know, at the Chevron selling my art. And who walks by but some guy with a black t-shirt with right, right, white writing. And what does it say on that t-shirt? I know it was you, Fredo. And as soon as I saw that t-shirt, I was like, son of a bitch, man. That is the power of manifestation. I'm not sure how it works exactly, but if you speak it, sometimes it actually appears you know what i mean and those just for me it could be confirmations i mean you got to look at it different ways everybody has different ways of looking at like deja vu and all these things but for me that was just confirmation that i was at the right place at the right time and that i should continue my journey maybe alabama you know is the way to go i'm like i said i'm still doing my feelers to see if that's the way i'm going to be heading but we'll see um yeah like i said it's thursday and it's really, really, last night was super windy, and if it's going to be windy again today, my art's going to be a little, I can't sell my art in this kind of wind, it'll just blow around and I'll just be chasing her down the street, so, much, but I'm also thinking about doing some painting, which I might be able to get away with, so we'll see if the wind calms down a little bit, because I have some projects I need to work on, you know, keep my, keep my product going so I can, as I sell, I got to keep making, right? Anyway, uh, that's it, I just thought that was really an interesting, you know, chain of you know confirmations that's the way i'm gonna look at it anyway so remember think positive and think your wishes in the reality speak them out say this is what i want i love you god or i, I want some money oh i'm always doing that you know do 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 i always want some money because i need it i'm like I'm not trying to be greedy but you know and always give back when you get it you know what i mean if you get a lot of money feel free to tip your waiter and waitress well just do what you can man tip when you can, give when you can. You see somebody, see somebody struggling? You know, some people are holding up a sign, I need gas, and they're just raking it in, right? Some people are just, there's cons out there, true, but most people are just suffering. 
Nobody wants to stand out and hold, uh, hold a flag or a sign if they don't have to. It's kind of, you know, de demoralizing a little bit, don't you think? Got the bag. But anyway, I love you. God loves you. And the universe is really digging you. So I want you to have a wonderful day and keep those thoughts powerful. And keep them positive. Keep that high ground and you, yeah, take the high ground. You keep the high ground and, yeah, do good. Okay, I'm going to let you go. Okay, love you. Bye.